well, I've only got a very small postage stamp size courtyard in which to grow things that I like to eat. So I try to keep it to the things that we use quite often and most of the time we use herbs to colour our meals, add spice, add flavour, add variety. And usually I propagate things like rosemary in a glass of water on the kitchen sink. And often they grow roots really well and when I go to transition them to the pot or the garden, they don't survive. But now I found this unique way of creating a propagating pot which promotes healthy root growth and aids in that transition from the bench or the propagating vessel to the pot or the garden. Let me show you how. Hi everyone, it's Julia from Lighter Footprints. I've got this unique thing to show you how to make today particularly if you're like me and you like to propagate from cuttings. You know your wonderful rosemary bushes that you see growing all over the place in your grandma's backyard or in the community garden and you think to yourself, oh, wish I could grow rosemary like that. Well, you can, it's really simple and really easy, but it becomes even more simple when you have one of these amazing propagation pots that I'm going to show you how to make today. First of all, you're going to need two terracotta pots, unglazed, and that's very important, and a saucer for the larger pot to fit in. So the saucer here, the little label there, we'll get rid of that. This is a, a nicely shaped one. I like the look of this terracotta pot. It's got some depth to it as well. Pop it on top of the other one. And we're going to need some coarse sand, which you can get from your hardware store. I've got some here. So I'm going to start by just popping a bit in the bottom of the large terracotta pot. Just sort of, that's probably about enough. Something for the next pot to bed down in. Now this one is a smaller terracotta pot and I've plugged up the hole with a piece of blue tack because we want this to be our water reservoir. So now we're going to place that neatly on the pile of sand in the middle. It should be a little bit higher than flush with the top of your bigger terracotta pot. And then we're going to fill in around that with our coarse sand. And the coarse sand is what we're going to place our cuttings into. And there we go, I didn't make much mess doing that. Okay, so the reason we use coarse sand is it has air pockets in between it. So it's great for the production of roots the roots can go in and follow the little air pockets. It also is great at retaining water. So now what we're going to do is fill up our little water reservoir in the centre. Here's something I prepared earlier. Get some cold water out of the tap and fill it to the brim. So there you go. Now because that's an unglazed pot, the water will slowly wick out of the terracotta pot in the centre and into the cavity that's been filled with the coarse sand, keeping it constantly moist but not overwatered. And you just need to make sure that you keep topping up the centre container so that it doesn't dry out. Now all we need to do is get our cuttings. I've got some rosemary here. Cut off a little bit, strip off the bottom oh, 10 centimetres of leaves and pop them into our sand. It's simply as easy as that. So find someone with a healthy rosemary bush, go and grab some cuttings, firm up around those cuttings and propagate in your own propagating pot. Talk to you soon.